Now I'm going to read you about Saint Alexander of Zvere. The first thing that I want to say is Saint Alexander wanted to build a big church up now, devout, devout, devoted to the Holy Trinity. But when he wanted that, he saw three angels who were uh, young people who were wearing white and were as lit as uh, the sun itself and asked them, who are you? And they, they said, we are the one. You want to build the temple too. Or we are the Holy Trinity. And he fell to the ground and he paid homage and bowed toward uh, in front of the Holy Trinity. He was called the son of comfort. His uh, parents uh, of St. Alexander of Zvere, Stephanos and Basra, lived in the beginnings of the great uh, Novgorod of, uh, the, 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 of the land of Olornet, where people of the, uh, the village Mantera, who is near the monastery of uh, Father Mary, Mother of God, on Ostrog. Even if they didn't have enough money and uh, a lot of uh, wealth, were very satisfied with what they had. But in respect, couldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, nobody could be more than they are. They were above other people and were fighting always to uh, have the two things that were pleasant to God. They had sons and daughters, but uh, for a, a very long time they couldn't have another child. So uh, the, the, uh, the, the blessed Basha uh, accept his, uh, her father's uh, but words about his neighbor to have another uh, child, but that was the plan of the holy uh, uh, prophet. Why? Because it isn't able for uh, a treasure like that to be born. That son has chosen him uh, to become before his coming to the uh, to the world to the world to become an heir and the guide for the salvation of uh, many people but only by praying and fasting after a, a big prayer a lot of prayer he uh, after a lot of prayer the, that miraculous couple that pious couple went to the monastery of uh, um, Mother of Mary's Mother of God, and stayed there for a long, long time, fasting and praying to the Mother of God. And one day, they saw a very, uh, uh, one night they saw a very uh, divine uh, proof that uh, of what I just said that the child was going to be blessed. The, and the, the angel of the Lord said, please, uh, blessed couple, be very, very joyful because the Son of God, the Son uh, of God, the Lord itself, uh, the Lord itself heard your prayers and you're going to have a baby, a baby son with the name of <coughs> comfort. Because God, with his born, with his birth, will give comfort to his church. When the days of having birth, of giving birth to the child, were coming close, the child that that uh, they were so much wished for. Um, was born, the child was born, and 
they if they uh, they uh, want it they want the, the child that they want so much and called him they called him that Amos Amos was the prophet of comfortness so on uh, his uh, this uh, blessed child came into the world 16th January 1990 uh, uh, 15th, 15th June of 14 49 I said I gave the numbers this blessed child came into the world on the 15th of, of August of 14, 15 of June, 14, 49, 15 of June, 14, 49. This, this scripture is so badly written that um, it's difficult to, re to read. It's called, it's the 15th of June, 1449. After some time, they reborn him in um, in water and the Holy Spirit, and the child was uh, growing up very quietly and uh, very normally, and he was full of divine grace, and uh, everybody loved him uh, for that. Uh, it is from the the book. The Siva is the, the severe city of of North. One point forty four, one forty five. This is the one. Now the next, the next miracle. He is uh, he disposed himself to the mosquitoes. From that moment on, from that era, Saint Alexander began to uh, have more and more uh, fights against the bad ones, bad demons. Then he had been sent by uh, the, the, his first, by the first monk to the oven where he was waiting hum with humiliation, fighting when he was waiting there with humiliation, fighting more of uh, the, the other monks and carrying water and carrying uh, um, water and um, carrying water and wood from the forest. He was practicing like this uh, with no stop and task and every day with no stop and every day he was uh, making his uh, car more, uh, making his him, making himself more exhausted. While at night he was praying uh, with all his cards, uh, with all his heart to his Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes he gave up. He went out of the, his cell and and he. Stood, stood in front of uh, uh, in the middle of uh, the place there uh, and until the time of the morning liturgy and his body was full of uh, mosquitoes small and big in the morning he was into the church before everybody else and into his position and without even moving his Feet. He was uh, lifting his body completely from. Uh, he was moving uh, his mind completely to uh, the divine grace, to uh, seeing God, praying with uh, a lot of um, power, praying with a lot of power. And having uh, in his mind that uh, holy psalms that they were singing and the singing uh, together and in reading together, he left from the ex uh, from the church and after every everybody else. So he was reading and writing in church, 
but he was so small even in his head, even in his um, deposit over there, and he uh, left the church after everybody else. And everybody was uh, very surprised about the humiliation and the noise uh, when come uh, the humiliation and uh, respect and all mm, all the divine graces that he had came from that man and every ma and everybody loved him and uh, loved him and respect him and prayed him even though that he didn't want to. Again, this book is based from the um, the Vaidas of Vora. The Vaida is, is a place in Vora with a lot of uh, um, monasteries, page 149 to 140, uh, uh, 150. Now I'm going to read you about Saint Alexander of Zavir. The first 